I'm Margaret Ryan with Clean Skies News. I'm talking with Carl Falkenberg. He's Director General for Environment for the European Union. Thank you for joining us nope. today. Uh, the fast start funding that's been under discussion from the beginning here, where do the discussions on that stand? I mean, we understand there's been difficulty even deciding how to, the mechanism for getting that funding out. Well, there's, there's two issues here. One is that we need the amounts. Uh, and the European Union has just decided that we would put out uh, 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 very significant money, um, 7.2 uh, billion over the period, more than 10.6 billion dollars. Um, the second is uh, how do we funnel this and here the, 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 the likely outcome is that we will have to have a multitude of, uh, uh, of, of ways in which we allocate this. Um, it will be difficult to set up a single way in which to allocate this, but we're talking, for example, with the Africans. Uh, President Melech of, uh, of Ethiopia has just uh, announced uh, that he is suggesting a way of allocating two different parts and to have 40% of this amount for Africa. Okay, so there is progress being made on that track. Uh, how about the, the two tracks, major negotiation tracks that went into here, the Kyoto Protocol, the LCA. Um, there have been protests today that uh, the uh, attempt by the Danish presidency to put in an alternate text is just bypassing the two years mm. worth of process. Mm. Uh, what have you been hearing about this? Well, I, I, I was in the plenary when I, when I heard all this and I, I do think that uh, uh, it has been rather awkwardly presented. I think what we have for the moment is two texts that have come out of the working parties and that are littered with brackets and alternative language. They are neither of them, neither the Kyoto Protocol text uh, nor the LCA text are in any form that you would try to submit them to heads of state and governments. So what the Danish uh, presidency is I think trying to do is to say this is the outcome, it is really not there uh, and as presidency I, will, I would like to suggest ways in which we could clean this text and which we could bridge some of the differences and then to be put it back to the, to the, uh, to the full uh, audience, to all the parties to discuss these ideas. I don't think that there was at any point uh, the, the intention to impose a text but we need to find a way forward, and I think we need to find better ways of communicating what we're really trying to do. Well, the Kyoto Protocol, now that's an active protocol right now, so that sec section is in something of a different situation than the LCA, mm -hmm. which is looking at new ways of approaching altogether. What is the situation with, at least for Europe, with the Kyoto Protocol if decisions can't be made here? I mean, it's still an active we protocol. Think it is an active protocol. Uh, the, the commitment period runs until the end of 2012. Uh, we have uh, not only ratified it, we have implemented it, we have based all our legislation on it. We're strong supporters of Kyoto. It has been a milestone. At the same time, we need to recognize that the Kyoto Protocol covers 30% of the world's emissions. And we're not going to save the planet from global climate uh, if we only focus on 30% of the emissions. That's why we need to be more ambitious and more comprehensive and that's why we have very strongly also argued for the second track for creating a new single comprehensive legally binding framework for all because 30% are not going to save the planet from overheating. Well. The way things are, there, there are still, as you said, so many brackets, so many decisions to be made. What do you see can come out of this uh, and, and can we get to that overall, that larger legally binding agreement, say, within six months or a year? Well, first of all, we need to find uh, a deal here in Copenhagen. Uh, it's only if we get an understanding between the major parties on the developed countryside and on the developing countryside that we both want to move forward and to tackle with more ambition climate change that we may have a chance to translate that into the full legally binding treaty that we all are striving for. If we don't get this basic deal out of Copenhagen we won't have anything to translate into legal form. So I think 
here is an essential moment uh, and we still have to do a lot of work before this conference hopefully will be concluded successfully. Okay. Paul Falcon, our Director General of Environment for the European Union, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm Margaret Ryan in Copenhagen for Clean Skies News.